The light independent reactions or the Calvin cycle, as it is called, takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. As its name suggests, it is a cycle with three phases. Its first phase is carbon fixation. So that's how we are um, fixing the carbon dioxide into larger organic molecules. The second phase is um, reduction, and that's a chemical in a chemical sense. So reduction is gain. And then the third phase is the regeneration of carbon dioxide, except to RUBP. So uh, a bit like in the Krebs cycle when we had to regenerate oxaloacetate. So if we look at phase one, um, carbon fixation. So we, we, the, the key molecule here is RUBP or ribulose bisphosphate, which is a five carbon molecule. And it attaches to the one carbon, carbon dioxide, in this enzyme, Rubisco. You might remember that you learned about Rubisco in chapter two when we looked at protein structure. And it's the most abundant enzyme um, on the planet, arguably the most important as well, because it's the one which um, fixes the carbon dioxide. Anyway, five plus one makes six, doesn't it? But actually that six carbon thing is so... Um, phenomenally unstable it doesn't really exist and instead it forms two three carbon um, molecules here um, these triose phosphates you don't need to worry about the names of these different triose phosphates okay so that's the carbon fixation phase from there we move into the reduction phase and you can see that we're using ATP and we're using reduced NADP to um, change these triose phosphates into um, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or um, GALP, as it's often known. Now, at this point, some of the GALP, one in every six, uh, will go off to reform uh, glucose. And then five in every six of those GALP will go off to form, to reform ribulose biphosphate also using ATP. Now, here is where it gets a little bit, little bit clever because we've got to think about the numbers, okay? So we've got six carbon dioxides, okay? Which means we're going to add to six RUBPs, okay? And that's going to make 12 of these triose phosphates, which in turn will make 12 of these uh, GALPs. Now, we say that one in every six goes off to make glucose. So one in every six. So that means two of them. So two times three, which is six carbons, which is glucose, goes off to reform that. And that would then mean that 10, so 10 times three, which is 30, will then be able to reform six of the five carbon RUBP. Okay, so numerically, it's rather neat as well. If that last little bit in blue didn't make a huge amount of sense to you, don't worry too much, okay? The key things are that you understand that we've got the five carbon RUBP joining with the one carbon carbon dioxide in Rubisco, and then these three carbon things undergo reduction using ATP and reduced NADP. Then one in six goes off to reform glucose, five and six use ATP to reform RUBP.